everyone, it's Lori Burdell again with USTA Florida Tennis Management. Today I'm going to talk about uh, winning the mental warm up and the match. Okay, I'm talking about mental here, I'm talking about preparing yourself before a match. Okay, not um, trying to figure out, you know, during, which is kind of hard. You can do it. Obviously, people do it all the time, but it's good to get your mindset appropriately um, before a match. And that's what my other previous video with the biofeedback talks about is getting yourself, your mind prepared for something that's going to happen in competition. It could be a test, something that helps you with anxieties, um, but uh, it gets you staying focused in the now, okay? So I'll be pointing down here, it says, stay in the now, okay? Stay in the present. So my little key here is W for warm up and M for match. And I believe that all these little bullet points with the tennis balls, they're pretty much all W and M's, okay? Because you could look at it both ways. In a before match uh, with a warm up and also during a match, okay? So uh, you're getting ready, you know, you're playing a match, get your bag prepared, your tennis bag prepared the night before, okay? I have a lot of friends that they show up, they don't have a tennis bag because they took it out, they were cleaning out their car or they switched cars, their husband took their, uh, the car that had their tennis bag in it or their tennis shoes. And you know who you are, because right? it happens all the time, okay? I, you know, no one's gonna wear my shoes and I'm definitely not giving my shoes up. Okay, but I will lend my racket out. And I have. <laughs> so, uh, number one here, know your opponents. If you know your opponents um, physically, like your friends with them, you hang out, you play every day with them, you know each other's games inside and out, okay? Uh, this is a good and bad situation. It's good if uh, you know already which strokes they cannot hit. You don't have to figure out the W, the warm up. Okay, you already know. But in this situation, what if they're having a bad day and they cannot figure out, you know, their backhand's not working or they're, they love to drop shot. Their drop shot's not working. You know, they're not quite there. They seem a little fuzzy. Okay, they're not, there yet. They haven't woken up. Okay. I know a lot of women, they play better when it's like 10, 30, 11 o'clock. All right. That's me. You throw me on a court at 8 a.m. I'm not even going to remember the match. Okay. Uh, I'm not awake. I'm not that kind of person. I'm at 11 o'clock on, you know, I can stay up. I stay up till midnight. Um, but that's the kind of person I am. I'm not an early riser. So, for this, uh, the good and the bad, okay? The bad also, uh, you psych yourself out because so-and-so is so good and they're a director, you know, of a, a big resort and that doesn't mean anything. That's a job, okay? But put yourself in the now, you know, sure, they're great players. You know, they have gold balls, you know, they're nationally player, big players, but they play, you know, who do they play with? Who are their partners? Uh, who are they playing with today? Okay, different situation. Um, so don't psych yourself out of your match before it even happens. Not even a warm up. Okay, figure out during a warm up what are they doing? What can they do? Uh, what are they avoiding before and during the, the warm up? Do they want to serve? They only hit a couple serves. Oh, I'm good. Okay, not really. I mean, did you get ten in a row in? Did you get your, do your second serve? Um, do they have a little, you know, they're rubbing their arm, you know, when they're trying to serve? Uh, there's a lot of different things you look for, okay? Are they accelerating through and they're really hyped up and they're boom, okay? They're excited to play, hmm, you're gonna have a match, okay? But if they're just going through the motions and it's gonna be a boring match, then if 
if you're squirreling, if you mind ADD, ADHD, that you can't stay focused and you realize you're gonna be playing that kind of ball. You're already talking yourself out of the point, okay? Out of the match, all right? So stay in the now, play your game, forget who they are, if they're your friends from childhood or best friends now, play them, forget who they are, erase their face, okay? You're just playing the ball, all right? And I play spaces on the court. I try to create openings and I hit to the, the largest space I can find, okay? I try to avoid who they are, you know? If it's a good friend of mine or not, okay? Do they run laps before, during, and after matches? Now this pertains to juniors, if you're 30s, if you're 40s, your 50s plus, 50s plus, let me tell you, there's senior women that go out there, they're nationally play, national ranked players, they run their laps because they're in a routine. They do their ritual, they do what that, that works best for them, okay? They're not doing it to psych you out, okay? They're doing it because that works for them. Now, if you're one of the people that stand there and go, oh my God, they're like, they're running and, you know, they're doing all this stuff. They're in such great shape, but you haven't seen them hit a ball yet, okay? Sure, they have wheels and they're running all over the place. Maybe they overrun the ball, okay? Maybe they're so hyper that they can't stay focused, all right? Um, so there's a lot of, you know, different factors involved with a person who is in such great shape, and but you don't know if they can actually hit a ball, okay? Um, I love, I just think that's funny. That cracks me up. For myself, um, I think, wow, they're going to tire themselves out before they even hit, you know, the warm-up ball. Or, you know, maybe they might tweak your muscle before they're, because they're running so much, you know, um, did they stretch before? Do they smell like Ben Gay when they're, you know, before they even hit the courts? Like they're lathered in Ben Gay and they have all these braces all over their body, okay? That's a sign too. That's either they have all these ailments or they're just doing it to psych you out. Um, I thought about doing that, but I never did it. So, are they avoiding certain strokes, okay, on the court? Uh, and this is for the warm up and also when you're playing. So, uh, if you're doing short court and you're like, oh, you want to take some up at the net? And they're like, no, that's okay. They don't like the net. All right. You remember those things. Or if they do come up to the net and they're just like blocking it, blocking it. And then they avoid hitting the back end. You try to hit a back end to them and they do the windshield wiper. Okay. You're like, oh, interesting. Note to self. Remember these things. You then you hit a softball low to them. Are they able to hit that shot? Or if you hit them a higher ball, can they hit a high one? Uh, just try to hit it in certain spots when you're warming up with them to find out what they can and cannot do. Now, obviously, if you bang a ball at them and you're at the baseline and they're at the net, it gives them, you know, they might be able to hit a better ball because they're used to your pace, okay? So that's another note to self, okay? Um, can they handle a softball? No, but they like pace. That's another note, okay? Uh, overheads, do they take overheads in the air? Do they let it drop and hit it here? Do they have shoulder problems? Do they have a hard time getting underneath it and getting in position? Uh, do they let the ball drop and then hit it? Okay. Um, do they have a hard time um, moving around the ball and do they run into the ball? Uh, these are a lot of things that you think about, but you, you know, you do it without subconsciously without even realizing you're doing it. Just little bullet points. Don't overwhelm yourself with what they can and cannot do. It doesn't matter because things change. All of a sudden they warm up and then they're, they're a different partner. Or they're a different player. Okay. Because everyone uh, is different. Everyone um, develops and grows in the match and uh, just snaps out of it. And all of a sudden they're like Serena Williams. They're amazing. Um, 
Are they discouraged uh, when they hit a certain shot? Um, do they, are they getting frustrated easily? Okay, so if you notice what shots you're hitting to them, are you going to remember that shot constantly and say, oh, they don't like when I do that, or they don't like it when I hit the ball short, okay? So hit the ball short to them. Hit the ball short and wide. Make them move forward, you know, something that they don't like to do or they're not accustomed to doing, okay? But if you do too much of that, then they're gonna become familiar with it and anticipate, and then they're gonna do it. So mix it up, all right? If you see them starting to come up, anticipate a shortfall, then you drill a deep one down at the baseline, or you can lob, hit it higher, catch them off guard when they're going forward, when you're hitting it high and behind them. This is good. This is uh, stuff that you can you know, react quickly and change. Um, another thing, uh, do they question every call? All right, uh, just to, it just irks some people. Me, I just let it go. I'm like, you know, uh, uh, what do you say? Is it, did you think it was at in? Uh, well, then obviously, you know, you can't come over here, but it really was out, okay? I try to play as fair as, uh, as you know, as can be. Um, anyone who knows me said that I'm a very fair person. Um, it may appear that it looks like it hit the line or was in, but it really was out. Um, and then let it go. But if they're constantly doing it and doing it, don't get into that. Boom, 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 Adam, because now it's taking you out of your rhythm and out of your own mental game. Uh, do they bring like this two giant bags of like groceries and they have like a buffet during their switch over, their change over time, okay? Uh, I've seen this, and uh, and they offer it to you. So they're trying to get you out. Oh, do you want some fruit? Or do you, you know, oh, I have, I'm hypoglycemic. I need this, and they start telling you stuff. And do you really need to know that during a match? Okay, uh, no. Just say no, thank you, and you go and towel off, get your drink. And if they try to engage you more and more, then go on the court, bounce the balls. Get focused, okay? Uh, try to talk to you in between points. If you're up at the net, the person's over there at the net, and they're like, wow, it's really hot out. It's like, I'm trying to play a point here. You know what I mean? So avoid them, don't engage, try not to laugh with them, unless it's funny. Okay, fine, but you have to be able to reel yourself back in. Um, don't fall into their trap, okay? They might be that kind of person because they're nervous, you know, so they're trying to engage you and now it's taking you off of your mental game, all right? Are you having long conversations with yourself? Self-sabotaging yourself, okay? You're upset, oh my God, I missed this shot. It keeps going, my forehand keeps going in the bottom of the net, I can't hit an overhead, the sun's right there. Well, you know, that's legitimate. The sun's right there. If, you're, if your forehand keeps going into the bottom of the net, you need to try and relax and you need to aim higher over the net, okay? Relax, don't try to kill the ball, hit three quarter pace, aim higher over the net. Okay, uh, notice uh, yourself swirling away. Okay, this help happens constantly. I'm a, this part of the squirrel team. Uh, a lot of my friends do it. We stand there and we're, we go away just for a fleeting second. Attention deficit. I'm standing there up at the net. Oh boy, I'm really helping my partner out because I'm watching this bird fly and these butterflies and they're so cute. So what do I do? I'm like saying to myself, squirrel, I get myself back focused so I can engage and help my doubles partner, you know, win the point. You know, they're not playing singles. You're there not to take up space, but you're there to help them win the match. So uh, try to stop, 
You stay focused. Okay, that's the key here. And stay in the now, okay? So I hope these tips and these little sidebars, you know, help you and remind you of things that happen all the time when we're playing matches. And um, let me know if there's something that you need to discuss more. And thank you, and I look forward to your comments.